honestly cannot believe that it's the end of the month. It's time for my October favorites. Where did October go? I don't know. I don't know. I was writing it down on my planner like videos for this week and the following week and I completely forgot that it was the end of the month and I needed to film my October favorites so I needed to do it today. <laughs> It's time for my October favorites. Last month I managed to do my favorites in under 10 minutes which was really really nice so I hope I can do the same thing once again. I don't usually tend to include fails but when something fails it fails and I need to share it with you. <laughs> so let's get started with two of my favorite blushes of the month which are the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. And I picked up two from Poshmark like I said in my chatty makeup tutorial. This is Dim Infusion and this one is Mood Exposure. I used Mood Exposure in my tutorial and I'm wearing it once again today. I just love <laughs> these blushes. Mood Exposure is kind of a soft plum. Dim Infusion is kind of a soft peachy shade if I can open it. <laughs> so it's a very soft peachy shade. This one's a soft plum. The reason why I really love these blushes is because they look incredibly natural on your cheeks. It almost just kind of blends in seamlessly with your skin. It almost looks like you're naturally like blushing. It's incredible. They last really well on the cheeks as well and I have really oily skin. And I also find that they're not shimmery. They don't have any glitter particles. They just look very natural on the skin. It looks like you're kind of glowing but not like you're wearing, you know, like a very intense highlight. The next product is a lipstick. The lipstick that I'm wearing today, this is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, the regular kissing range, not the matte revolution. This I also picked up on Poshmark for a discounted price and this one is Hepburn Honey which is this beautiful honey shade. It's kind of a neutral but with a hint of orange. Super neutral, super wearable. I just love it. And it's also super comfortable just like the Matte Revolution lipsticks except this one has more of a sheen going on. It is a beautiful consistency. The longevity is really really nice for something that's very creamy and hydrating. So if you haven't tried any of the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks in general, I highly recommend them. They're incredible. A little bit pricey, but they're worth every penny and the packaging is beautiful. As I mentioned in my chatty makeup tutorial, I've been reaching for a lot of eyeshadow pencils. I just like the convenience and I don't know, I haven't been feeling, I haven't been in the mood to be like blending out eyeshadows and all that stuff except for my red smoky eye tutorial, but other than that, I'm just like very low maintenance most days. As much as I love that red smoky eye, it's not for everyday use, but if you do want something a little bit more reddish, this eyeshadow pencil is it. It's one of the Charlotte Tilbury Color Chameleon pencils, and this one is in Bronze Garden, which is tailored for green eyes, but honestly, you can wear whatever you want. So as the name suggests, it is a beautiful kind of reddish, rusty brown. It looks like this. It is stunning. It is so so beautiful so I've been reaching for this if I want kind of a ready, ready, a reddish smoky eye, really easy one. <laughs> and the eyeshadow pencil that I used in my chatty makeup tutorial is this one. This is the Marc Jacobs Tinkle Pop in Au Revoir and this is a beautiful taupey shade and I mentioned in my video that it feels cooling on the eyes. It's, it's really weird to explain. It feels cooling but I mean it's just an eyeshadow stick. <laughs> So it's a beautiful shade. It's this one. So as you can see, a lot cooler compared to the Bronze Garnet. And finally, I do have a drugstore <laughs> alternative. And this one is by Circa Beauty. You can find Circa Beauty at Walgreens. And this is one of their color saturated eye crayons in Cure Topaz, which is a beautiful kind of a bronzier like taupe. It's not exactly super warm like the Bronze Garnet, but it's not as cool tone as the Marc Jacobs one. So that's the Circa Beauty one, Marc Jacobs and Charlotte Tilbury. All three of them are amazing and they last really well on the eyelids. And now for another drugstore product, this is by Pixie. You can pick this up at Target. This is the Correction Concentrate in Brightening Peach. I also use this in my chatty makeup tutorial, so if you haven't seen it or you want to see it in action, you can just go ahead and watch that video. This is a beautiful peachy concealer. If you haven't tried the Benefit Erase Paste, or if you have tried it and didn't like it, like I, I didn't like it, this one is really, really nice. It's very affordable compared to the Benefit option, and it works 
pretty much exactly the same. It is a peachy concealer, so if you have like purpley or bluish like dark circles, this is gonna correct that. And at the moment, I haven't been sleeping well. I haven't been sleeping for, I mean, I have been sleeping, but I haven't been sleeping well for the past three weeks because there's been a lot of commotion around my block. There's been building and building right next door, <laughs> right outside my window. So they start every morning at 7 a.m. and it's just like jackhammers and everything and yeah I haven't been sleeping that well and this has been helping out so much one of the colors that I wore in the month of October sadly this isn't in the nails of the day post but still the color that I wore in October is this one by Butter London it's part of their Allure and Butter London collection this is the 90s in a bottle and the name is it's vintage so it's a really really fitting name for, for the color that it is it's kind of a rusty orange beautiful it's just like I said the 90s in a bottle and I love butter London and this shade is just perfect for fall as a blogger I test out a lot of products and sometimes they don't go as planned my skin reacts to them or I don't know something happens but this past month, both my skin and my hair were looking like a hot mess for the majority of the month because I was testing out some products. The products that I have to blame for my horrible skin this past month are these ones right here. This is by Confidence Skin Care and this is part of their correct range. I don't know if everyone has the same reaction as me, but I just broke out so much. So it might just be my skin, but still, <laughs> this whole skincare range just left my skin so dull looking, a little bit on the drier side, and I broke out so much. I mean, my pimple finally went down the one that I had over here, but it was huge. It was painful. I haven't had cystic acne in a while, and I started getting a few blemishes that were just really really painful so uh, I was just like you know what I've been testing it out almost the entire month and it's just not like getting any better so I had to discontinue the use maybe it works for some people but it just personally did not work for me and the other fails of the month were hair related and this is by Proganics which is a drugstore like hair care range and they sent me their like moisture range because it's new and it has like coconut and it's supposed to be amazing so I was just like okay I mean I'll try it out like I got curly wavy hairs usually on the drier side so I can use some moisture and I was about to include these products in my last month's favorites because it was just like love at first application and I just really liked it. It smells really fresh and I typically don't like coconut but it just smelled really fresh. These did the opposite <laughs> for my hair. It just left it really dry, really frizzy, really brittle. If you follow me on Snapchat you saw when I posted a picture of my hair looking like that. Like just like a lion basically and it was because of these and this past week I discontinued the use from all the products and started using another like shampoo and conditioner and my hair is like back to normal back to being moisturized and like defined with these I wasn't getting any defined curls whatsoever so yeah I have to mention it. if you have curly wavy hair avoid these they smell really nice but the quench system just did not work for me and as far as music goes I was listening to David Bowie so much this month so David Bowie was my favorite musical artist of October but you guys know that I love David Bowie I have a David Bowie makeup tutorial in this channel I had David Bowie nails not too long ago and my dog's name is Bowie so I love David Bowie so yeah David Bowie was my favorite. But that's it for this month's favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below what your guys' favorites were because I would love to know. And as I mentioned before, I'm going to try to make an effort to include more drugstore makeup next month's video. There's no guarantees because with favorites, I like to show what I've actually been using and not just like, okay, let me, I have to pick a drugstore stuff. So I'm going to try and like rediscover some things or just discover some drugstore things. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this if you're not subscribed to this channel please take the moment to do so by clicking right over here I think it's my right hand that I need to point up here if not I'll correct myself next time <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys very soon in my next video bye